information about really what is going on out there in our economy with respect to these loans. Don't, and you know, it's hard to say not to feel bad, but there are thousands of people, a million more in the United States that are in this predicament. Most important thing is to understand what is happening and how you know you could resolve the issues. With what we have going on here today, we have counselors, we have mortgage brokers, we have lenders, we've got countrywide here. But we're going to take you through a little bit of a journey and educate you of what the process is and what what kind of opportunity you have to fix things. Um, there are going to be question and answers that you'll be able to uh, ask the guest speakers. A little later on, we'll have a, a foreclosure attorney that will give you a presentation and give you his perspective. One thing that we really want you to know that with the Google Alliance, one, because this is a very, very sensitive issue, your information with the counselors will be kept completely confidential. So it's not going out there into the general population. You will have an opportunity to sit down one-on-one -on -one with the counselor if that's what you're here for. Most importantly is to understand education about this whole situation, financial situation and, and, con and, and the economy of what has happened. You need to educate. And you cannot just sit and wait for the statements to come in or ignore the phone calls. The lenders have just as much motivation to extend their help to their clients as you need. So please, if there's anything that you could, if you have questions, be open to ask them. Um, this is truly an opportunity to talk to people about what is happening because there are, like we all know, thousands of people that are in a process that may have a loan that's going to reset and their interest rate is going to be higher and their payments are going to be higher. But today we've got some very, very knowledgeable people here that you can extract very valuable information. So education is the primary uh, reason and hopefully will open the door to get extra help. Uh, homeowners have hardship, a divorce, separation, marital, illness, death, disability, unemployment, reduced income, excessive debts, including credit card obligations, Increased payment, escrow and arm, which is more common. You have an adjustable mortgage and your monthly payment have uh, adjusted. Things are going to be late in the next month or two months. Next two months. Technically speaking on this, your mortgage is paid in the arrears, correct? You live and you pay. So your first late won't be recorded until 30 days after the first due date of your, that payment which is the first of that month. So in other words, we're in April next week. From the 1st of April, your payment's due. From the, fifth, from the 1st to the 15th is considered a grace. Technically speaking, like what Dolette said, most people will give you 10 days of grace, charge you a late fee, then you have till the 1st of the next month. If you do not make that payment, you're considered what we call a 30-day late. Up to five months or five 30 days, you'll go into a default. On the sixth month, they record that default, okay? After 90 days of that, they will put your house into um, a sale, a trustee sale. And then you receive notice of that as well. Once that happens, technically speaking, you've already foreclosed, okay? Um, but remember, it's a secured. It's secured. It's a secured loan. It's secured to a title. It's secured to your property. It's a recorded deed. Once all that occurs, everything is. You'll be notified for everything because it has to be recorded in the in, in the county that you live in or in the county that your deed was recorded. Okay. So those of you who that are here right now, you're here for a reason, and that reason is because either you're you're late or you're gonna be late because you already know what your payment's gonna be adjusting to, correct? So what we're trying to do is educate you, not even just to get to the 30 days, but to avoid, you know, 60, 90s, even, you know, five months later, to prepare you from there on. Loss occurs during a foreclosure. They wanna work it out. I know that today, Countrywide has done 80,000 workouts, resolutions through our HOPE department to try and save people's home through note modifications, through a very variety of these processes you've seen. 
And so the, the last thing they want to do is foreclose because the expense that they incur, plus then they own your home and they don't want your home. They want you to keep your home. And so that's what, what Chris alluded to is that, you know, they'll try everything they can first to help you work it out based on the, the three things he talked about is your ability to continue to repay in some fashion or another. They're, that they, you know, time, time will get everybody through this because we know at some point values will return. Helped. Out of that 15,000, 1,500 were short sales, 84% of the 15,000, and this is just for March, 84% of the people we were able to adjust the loan in some manner and keep them in their home. If we have to go through this with you and we take your property back, which is not what we want, we want to earn income on the loan. We don't want to be in the real estate market. We're better off getting a little less interest per month and helping you out than owning your property. You want to stay in your home. That's the American dream. That's what we want for you, too. So. You need to call loss mitigation directly. Customer service. A perfect example. Um, me as a mortgage banker, I produce the majority of my business by speaking to realtors. When I walk into a real estate office, there's a receptionist. I call the receptionist the gatekeeper. Why it's already and you're still doing it. Or um, you haven't shown any type of distress. Having the ability from Mobuhai Alliance or having a nonprofit organizations such as Mobuhai Alliance and anything else, they have the ability to represent you with the knowledge of knowing these answers to the questions that they ask. Or already knowing the questions that they're going to ask because they've already experienced it through other lenders. Having people like Faith and, and Dolet and, and, and having the, the strong arm of the law behind them, in other words, the government. You know, uh, because in all honesty, they can tell you all they want that the government's not getting involved. Yes, they are. Yeah, that's what they do. And you, in your case, you're current.